Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my self-tanning routine. A lot of you girls have been asking what self-tanner I'm using and how I maintain my tan year-round. So I'm going to show you my absolute favorite self-tanner and share a few tips on how to make your tan last as long as possible. Right now I'm using Loving Tan and it is my all-time favorite self-tanner. So this one is the 2-Hour Express in the color dark, which is... How my skin looks right now this one just looks so natural it just gives you that tropical glow and i use it year round it just it looks amazing i go between using the two hour express and the regular deluxe bronzing mousse so this one takes six hours to develop and this one only takes two so depending on how much time i have i go between the two of them and they're both in the color dark i will say if I have more time, I do prefer this one and this bottle is actually empty because I've used it all. I feel like this one just gives a deeper, darker tan and I think it's just because it has way more time to develop on your skin. This one is so great for on the go if you just need a quick touch up on your tan. But if I have the time, I do prefer to use the six hour one. This self tanner is a mousse, so you just apply it to your skin using a little mitt and I love the Loving Tan one. Um, it's just like a little foam mitt that slides on your hand. You just pump it and apply it. It's super easy and the formula on this one is very fast drying and doesn't leave you like feeling sticky. And another thing, it doesn't stink. There's nothing worse than when you put on a self tanner and you smell like plastic all day long. This one doesn't do that to you. Before you start tanning, you want to make sure you prep your skin. So you want to shower, shave, and exfoliate. This will remove any dead skin and give you a fresh face for your self tanner to stick to. So I always start by shaving and then I'll go in and exfoliate all of my skin. And I use these little exfoliating washcloths. I think you can get them at like Walmart, Target. And I love these because you can just toss them in the washer and just keep reusing them. So after you're done showering, shaving, all that jazz, You'll want to make sure you wait at least 30 minutes before you apply the self tanner. So after you get out of the shower, your skin is still moist and kind of soggy and it'll be hard for that self tanner to really sink in. So you want to give time for your skin to dry out and be ready for that self tanner. Another thing is, if you washed your hair, which I don't wash mine very often, but if you did, you want to make sure you dry your hair before you start tanning. You just don't want to have any water dripping on you or any wetness around your self tanner. So just make sure your hair is dry before you start. Once your skin is all prepped, you are ready to start tanning. So if you want to see how I get this glowy tan, just keep watching. Earlier today I showered, shaved, and now I'm ready to start tanning. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on some lotion. I'm just using this Vaseline lotion, so I'm going to apply a generous amount to my hands, my feet, and any dry areas. So basically your elbows, your knees, your ankles. Dry areas will just absorb more of that self tanner and they'll end up darker, which is not cute. So you want to make sure you moisturize. You also want to take off your jewelry. I probably should have done this first. That way you don't have to touch it once you start tanning. start by saying I don't apply the self tanner to my face this is just personal preference um, I have done it in the past and I didn't have any trouble with it I just exfoliate my skin too often I guess for a self tanner so it comes off really fast for me so it's just not worth it I would rather just apply darker foundation or a little extra bronzer to make it match but if you are going to apply it to your face you'll want to use some kind of makeup brush this one is just like a flat top kabuki and then just apply a small amount to the brush and just buff it into your face stick to like the outer areas of the face and then just kind of blend it inward i'm going to be applying the tanner with this little loving tan mitt it just slides over your hand it's super easy to use and this will keep your hands from turning very brown you always want to make sure you're using a mitt a washcloth or something to keep your hands from getting stained and if you do get any on your hands while you're applying it you just want to make sure you wipe it off really fast so that it doesn't stain you I like to work from top to bottom and once you start you really just want to keep going that way you don't worry about having any streaks or anything like that so I'm just gonna go in and put one to two pumps onto the mitt here so just apply it in a circular motion and just make sure it's all blended in and you'll kind of know when you need to add more. When you get to your wrists, you just want to blend it down very lightly just with what's remaining on the mitt. You don't want to add too much onto your hands or your wrists. So just kind of rub it downwards and then lightly go over your fingers and then down your palm. You don't actually put any on the palm of your hand. 
Also, when doing your neck, you just want to blend it into your jawline and also into your hairline. All tanned up. Um, now I'm just gonna wait two hours for the tan to develop. So I'm just gonna lounge around the house. I'm gonna throw on a pair of black sweatpants and a black long sleeve shirt because you don't want to get the self tanner on your furniture or anything like that. So just make sure your skin is covered. Then after the two hours, I am going to hop in the shower. And um, since I showered earlier, I'm just gonna rinse off my skin. I'm not gonna use any soap or scrub myself at all. After I get out, I'm just gonna pat my skin dry. Then happy dance because I'm tan. So go ahead and set a two hour timer. Here is the final look. Like I said, I feel like this is such a natural looking tan and it's definitely something you can wear year round. So now that we have our tan, we wanna maintain it. So my biggest tip for this is to make sure you're moisturizing your skin every day. I've been using this tan extender for a few weeks now and I really like it. Um, this one is by Hemp Nation. It smells really good. It's easy to apply. So this just helps enhance that color and make it last even longer. But if you don't want to use a tan extender or a tan accelerator, you can just use any moisturizer. You just want to make sure that your skin doesn't dry out because when it's moisturized, it will just be happier because who doesn't want to have skin? Another thing that will make your tan last a little bit longer is to avoid taking long baths or showers. Just quick in and out and your tan will last a little bit longer. You also want to make sure you're not exfoliating your skin when you shower. Just lightly wash your skin and same thing when you're shaving, just don't press very hard. Just kind of gently shave because you don't want to scrub off that fresh tan. And lastly, you want to make sure that you're just gently patting your skin dry and not rubbing it when you get out of the shower because if you rub it, you might wipe off your tan. So for me, this tan will usually last about two weeks before it really starts to come off and I have to reapply it. I would just go in with that same exfoliating cloth, just really scrub my skin, get off any of that extra tanner, and just repeat all of the steps that I mentioned earlier in the video and you are ready to tan again. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Prep your skin up. Prep your skin up. <coughs> you clear your throat. Ah, why is this so hard to say? Limit your showers. Don't take showers, people. Oh. Here is the finished product. Am I a product? Ah. Oh wait, ah! How I get this Florida glow.